Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've come back to uh, Glasgow. I've actually parked pretty much or parked the last two occasions I've come this back to Glasgow and where I'm actually going to be going to is St Mungo's Museum of Religious Life because I did actually find out it must have been Sunday night, so about two nights ago that the museum has reopened and you can now go visit. So the museum itself, I think I have, put, I have pointed it out previously when I visited Glasgow Cathedral. I will try and link that video in and we card at the top, probably in that corner there. And so it's kind of right next to the cathedral and it's the building that looks really old but isn't actually really old. From, cause from what I've read online, the building itself was built back in 1986. So yeah, it's, it's over 30 years old, but it's not as old as you'd expect it to look because it is built very much in this Scottish baronial style. So it's very reminiscent of castles that are in very much um, in a medieval style. And if I remember correctly, it was actually built to be reminiscent of uh, the Bishop's Castle, which was up next to the cathedral, I think pretty much where the infirmary is now. So it's very much harking back to uh, Glasgow's Lost Castle. So I'm going to grab my things and head on up and show you around the museum itself. I have been before and from what I can remember, it is actually really interesting inside does cover a lot of different religions, does give a, a real good insight in different faiths, different ways of life. Great museum and again, like so many Glasgow's museums, it's free and it is, it's open to the public. Before I do head up, if you're enjoying my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post the links to the channel's coffee.com page, to my PayPal account, and I will also post the link to the channel's TikTok account as well. So with that out of the road, I'm going to grab my things and head on out. So we've got Sajid David Livingston, who was the, the explorer and missionary with the cathedral in the background. But what I'm coming here to see today is this building here. You can't quite see the grandeur of the building. Uh, Where's Laurie? Uh, you can't see quite, quite, quite see the grandeur of the building from this angle. But you can probably make out that it is very much made to look like a, a medieval building. But it is a relatively recent building. It was only built in 1986. And across the road, surrounded by a lot of scaffolding, that's uh, the Proven Lordship, which they're doing a lot of restoration work on at the moment. That's the panorama here. Gives you an idea of the layout of uh, this bit of Glasgow. So we've got like, the cathedral there. Uh, we've got the Royal Infirmary. And uh, the Proven Lordship is there. And where I'm going into is that building there. So if you are coming to visit the uh, St Mungo's Museum of Religious Life, here uh, is at the opening times, and as, as I was saying before, it is free entry. So we had the floor plan. We've got an exhibition up the stairs, an exhibition area up the stairs.
I do have some items from Native American culture as well. So that's a stunning piece of artwork. We have animation for it. the colours in this wee window. We do have uh, some Buddhas as well. I do have plenty of information boards if you're wanting to read up on all the items that they have on the display. And I know somebody before had mentioned this video in one of the comments and was saying that she loved the fact that the e there's a stained glass window with the angels on it with coloured wings rather than just white wings. So if you are seeing this video, the stained glass window is still here. And they do have some Egyptian artifacts as well. I'll show you this picture in a minute. It's by another one by Peter Housen. Yeah, I certainly can't see that their exhibition and their items aren't diverse. The exhibition on about angels. So if you're doing the back home way, which is the pilgrimage route that goes from Glasgow Cathedral down to the town of Whithorn, the, the St Mongols Museum of Religious Life and Art probably a perfect place to come and have a wee visit and a wee explore. Because again, 
I did some of really getting in the mood so far. Is it the Pokemon yeah. Trail? Yeah, I don't know that about uh, St Mungo's, but the museum. It was planned as a visitor centre for the cathedral. But it's now the Museum of Religious Life and Art. This will probably give you an idea, an idea of the layout, what the building looks like from the outside. So around this side is the side where I came in. That wee door down, and then a bit there is the door I came in on. This gallery in here focuses on religion in Scotland and all the different religions that have uh, been in Scotland itself, all the way back to the Stone Age and up to the present day. Even have some beakers and Roman altars. So the museum stands over part of where the castle once stood. Well, part of the site was excavated back in the 80s by Soviet archaeology. There's a wee statuette of St Mungo there. Um, I think all these uh, items except for the statuette were actually excavated by Suet archaeology when they were doing the, the excavation of the castle. And this is the view that you get from one of the upper windows. Also looking out across the cathedral and up to the necropolis. Yeah, out in the back, they've actually got a wee zen garden. And I've also just noticed, they've got a wee clotty tree. A uh, clotty tree is quite a Scottish thing. It's usually trees around the wells that are seen as being healing wells. People would leave like a strip of fabric from like their shirt or something and in the hope of receiving some healing or in hope of getting something in return well that is me just finished my visit to St Mungo's Museum of Religious Life and Art and yeah again it's one of those uh, museums in Glasgow that isn't as well known as like places like Kelvin Grove but it's definitely worth going and visiting and exploring and yeah and just seeing what they have on display and again it does also give an insight into religion and the role it's played in Scotland and Scottish history which does kind of does help understanding certain things that have happened in, in Scotland over the years so it is definitely somewhere that I would recommend going and visiting, especially if you are up seeing Glasgow Cathedral, up seeing the Necropolis. Now that the St Mungo's Museum of Religious Life is back open again, definitely somewhere to stop off when you're up, up in this area of the city. And again, with it being located right next to Glasgow Cathedral, it's right on the, the route for the sightseeing tour bus. And again, I think I'll try and link that video into this one here as well. Probably there'll be a link in the, the corner there for you. And again, as I also said earlier on, if you're doing 
uh, the Whithorn Way, uh, with you starting at Glasgow Cathedral, I would definitely recommend before you do uh, head off proper uh, onto the, the the pilgrimage way itself. Definitely will you stop off at the, the St Mungo's Museum. Uh, probably be an our location just to get you into the mood for going on the pilgrimage. So hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll have found it interesting and intriguing. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.